guys, here we go. Everything over here has eaten, so um, it's going to be hard to show anything because I don't want to disturb anything that is eaten. Oh, I can show you what I do got, though. The Mojave and the Black Pastel. I mean the Black Pastel. The Mojave and the Black Magic are definitely locked. They are locketed. So... I'll keep that pairing going, and we'll see how that goes. In a few days, I'm going to put the head albino back in with the head albino, and I will take the... Uh, the... Uh, what's his name there? The uh, banana and put back in with the other one. Or, no, the LSR fire is what it is. The fire. And put it in with the other girl. So we'll see how that goes, huh? But as for right now, we're gonna zoom in on that there if we can. I don't know if we can get to see anything down in there. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to film through the plastic. That's what the problem is. Anyway, uh, yeah, everything goes good. Nothing refused food, which is always a plus. I've never really had a problem with things refusing food during breeding season. So, uh, I don't know. A lot of people complain that they have problems with with feeding, uh, don't, you know, things refusing food during breeding season. But even, I've never had that issue. But I'll tell you one thing I did notice. Since I put them on the paper that CMC's got, that has increased the food intake on my animals a lot. And I don't know if it's because they don't like to be on the other stuff or something. I don't know what it is. But I know that this paper, they've increased the amount of food they take. And breeding is going off. He must have some kind of, like, I don't know, something in there to to trigger them to breed or something. Because I haven't had a problem getting anything to lock this year. Not one thing. Everything is locking that I put together since I started using the paper. And I don't know. They might not like the feeling of the other stuff on their belly. See, because I noticed I've done a lot of research. I'm not going to say I've not a ton of research but i've done some research and i've noticed that over in africa when they breed uh they don't do many locks on the grass or nothing it's usually on a dirt patch or down in a hole where it's dirt and i think because it's a smooth surface i think that makes a difference you know there isn't much grass or, or, or dirt or, or, or uh not much grass and not much uh, rubble laying around when they do their locks i've seen a lot of them locking over there from the research i have checked out on dirt and I'm assuming that this paper smooth surface makes them feel more comfortable I guess I don't know I don't know I'm just saying it could be but you know who am I I'm just a hobby breeder doing this for fun so it's just my observation I just can only give you my opinions of what I've seen doesn't mean I'm right but it also doesn't mean I'm wrong so Always, always, always do some research on stuff, man. Anyway, yeah. I can't even open up the little baby ones. Everything is eaten. Everything eat. So maybe this year, I'll get some clutches and have some good stuff going around and about, huh? What do you think? Okay, guys. Anyway, we're going to go over and check out some stuff over in the other room over here, and we'll see how things are going. Andrew got his new game today. It was downloaded. It was He ordered it for his birthday, but it took it wasn't being released until today. So, it came today for sure. So, All right, guys. Peace out. I just had to show you guys this beautiful pastel head clown girl. She is amazing. I would take her out, but again, she just ate. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I'll be back. Boom. Hey, guys, here we go. I got one I got to show you guys before. We have a mishap. Not a mishap, but before it moves. Because it's looking phenomenal. Boom. Oops, oops. See if I can get it right and focus right there. 
They web up a lot, man. I gotta get another type of container, I think, for this guy. Because I don't want, when I lift this up, for this to pull it apart. But as you see, he attached his web up here to the top. So when I open it up to feed him, he's definitely gonna, it's gonna do some damage. So, but whatever. Not to him, but to his, to his, uh, his webbing. And I don't want to do it every time I open it, but... Uh, that means I'll have to get something different, but that's fine. I could do it. And there's that one there, as you see right down there. And then here's this one here. Right down in there. Let's take a look at this girl right here. Ooh, it was just coming out of the hole right there. Boom. This one has rearranged its hole again. It's got a hole straight down instead of over to the side like it used to. But that's okay. It's its home. He can do what he wants with his home. And this guy right here happens to be right there. I don't know. Let me see if I can get it there. Let's see it. And it is dug a tunnel. They're forever changing the way their home or the, the way they have their whole setup going in there. It's kind of fascinating to me. Oh, there we go. There's that one there. There it is. This one's starting to dig a tunnel, though, if you look. It dig, sticking it right down along here. Down in here. And it hangs out right up there. Anyway, don't forget to go over to check out Fatal Fangs and do your voting and stuff because, uh, you know, there are some pretty cool things going on. This guy's making a web in here, boy. There are some great ones over there. I can't tell you who to vote for because everybody's going to have their own opinion. But uh, there's a few that I really I voted for who I thought should win. And I like their videos, so this one here. I mean, I like the video that they had up, not their whole videos in general, just. And then they put, you know, a few people I really like both up against each other, so it, it makes it tough to vote on the Fatal Fangs, because, uh, like, so, your friends could be on there, and you're like, wait a minute, that's my friend, and that's my friend, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so you just do whatever it is, you know, you vote for whoever, ever you want to, but yeah. Oh, there we go, right in the front, see it? Boom. It's right there. It's pretty cool. This one here, the Brachiopelma avopelosum has dug the tunnel, there it is right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right there. There it is. You guys can see it right there if I can. And it has made a tunnel that goes around. Oh, let me show you. Tunnel goes around. Let me just focus it. Around here, down, and over. It goes way down, up, over, up there, and down over here. And he's piled it all right there. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell everybody about the channel. Help someone in need, especially this time of year. People do not get depressed this time of year. It's not worth it. There's not, you know, there are people out there who care about you. And this is the worst time of year for that. Thinking that somebody doesn't care about you. And people do, man. They do. They really, really do. Well, I can't wait till my collection gets a lot bigger I really enjoy these guys Becky found these containers yesterday online they're like the dram bottles but they're like four or five inches round and they're like ten inches tall and they're uh, screw on tops but they're clear screw on tops it's really amazing 
And I think they'd be cool to have because then you're moving right from a little dram to a giant dram. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I got to get something different for this guy here because this guy here, I don't like this this setup in this one. I'm gonna get this one into a. Um, this is the uh, avicular avicular. I want to get something that's clearer that I can see through. I want to be able to see through the top, or have something like this. But so I was thinking of one of these that I got this OBT in, but the OBT, I want to get, I want to keep the OBT in this one, but I'm going to get one like this, but a lot taller, a really tall, tall one, because I know that the, It'll be quite interesting to see. Oops. And then I'll just recycle these smaller bottles. I'll clean them out real good. And I'll use them for other things. For other tarantulas that I get. Like, you know, I can get some slings that can go in these guys. When I get these guys in there. These guys are almost ready for a rehouse. Once they molt one more time, I think they're going to be ready. Because they're getting bigger. And I know some of these uh, Brachiopelma vagans, these ones. There's at least two of these guys that need to be in bigger homes. So, like this guy right here, if I can get him up and over without you, be, without him being freaked out. I mean, he's a good size. He molts again. He's going to be huge. And uh, I just figure out, you know, get them all in the thing. It'll be quite interesting to see. So, anyway, like I was saying, don't get depressed, people. Like, comment, share, subscribe. There are people out there who care. Help someone in need. And peace out.